Hello and welcome to Serial of Midnight. My name is Heath and it is time, guys. We're talking about Box of Burt. This is from Umbrella Entertainment. It has just arrived. And I gotta tell you guys, uh, this is by far the most requested coverage for an Umbrella release ever. From the moment this was announced, it, so many people were like, are you gonna talk about the Box of Burt? I was like, I'm, for sure, like so many people are interested in this. And it's controversial too, because when this was first um, put together, and had different box art and um it's so it's five movies and there's different studios involved here and one of those studios from what i can gather reading like the official statements or i say official it's like umbrella on social media um one of those studios took a huge issue to the it was it was the the Burt, the naked burt reynolds on the on the rug um in fact it's in the booklet here which we should talk about so inside of the best little whorehouse in texas is our box of Burt booklet, which is absolutely loaded with stuff. Uh, this is what we're talking about. This particular image right here was on the cover and that was just too incendiary for one of the companies involved. I don't know. So these movies run uh, Universal is here, Fortune Star, and Columbia. So somebody was like, absolutely not. <laughs> Get that off the cover. So Finally, here it is. Box of Burt has arrived. Like I said, five movies with special features and this awesome book. We're going to go through it all together because the people demand it. Uh, remember when you shop Umbrella to use uh, coupon code SERIAL15 and that saves you 15% off on your order. So, first of all, let's admire this lovely 70s-tastic packaging. That's the details of what's inside. I mean... I, this is going to go on the shelf, and I just know so many people are going to ask about this. They're going to be like, what's Box of Burt? And then I'm going to be like, go check out this video. Um, all right, so we got the five movies here. Let me set this right there. Uh, the first movie in the collection, well, the first collection in the collection, <laughs> the first case has Cannonball Run 1 and 2, and it's loaded with special features. I now... It's a lot of special features, and it's two movies, but it's one disc. So I... I Probably compression is not an issue here, but I was a little, I was hoping for two discs on that one uh, for this 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 particular set. But man, Cannonball Run one and two uh, from Sea to Shining Sea: A Look at the Cross Country Car Race in Film by historian Andrew Nettie. Gator McCluskey presents uh, the Cannonball Run. Then Gator McCluskey presents uh, the Burt Reynolds story Cannonball Run two. There's a commentary for Cannonball Run, a commentary on Cannonball Run two. Oh man, I just noticed this. I just noticed this. It says, warning, this film contains heavy use of Burt's Tash. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, man. So Cannonball Run is 96 minutes. Cannonball Run 2 is 108 minutes. And then all these special features. Um, that's that's the first movie. Second movie, or this the first, whatever. It's the first case of the four cases. Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. Um, super fun movie. It's Dolly Parton. When did Dolly Parton become a saint? That's what I like in the last three years. It happened in the last, like everybody's always liked Dolly Parton, right? But like in the last few years, she became sainted and like, you know, mother pardon. Oh, mother pardon. Like she seems to be like so my daughter. I don't even know if my daughter can name a single Dolly Parton song, but she's like, she's just so precious. I'm like, you don't know, you don't know her. So this is interesting. Like, I, I, if people love Dolly Parton and they've never seen the best little horror house in Texas, they are in for um, uh, treats, but also maybe a side of Dolly they're not familiar with. So, uh, feature length audio commentary by music historian Adam Devlin. Gator McCluskey presents the Burt Reynolds story, the best little. So it's, you see, we're running. It's a, it's a continuing theme. Gator McCluskey presents the Burt Reynolds story, the best little horror house in Texas. Nothing dirty going on. Sex work and musicals. Video essay by film historian Lee Gambin. I don't remember if Lee Gambin brought this up when we talked about, uh, you know, I interviewed him like a month ago, and I don't remember if he talked about the box of Burt. He did mention Umbrella though. Making of documentary outtakes, theatrical trailer, and va va voom. I appreciate that umbrella. I don't know. So I don't know if it's a cultural thing or how they're putting out box sets that are a like they're a big company you know like umbrella is a huge australian company they feel indie it feels almost like a vinegar syndrome kind of a thing or like a severin kind of a thing like this is geared towards a more a more adult audience 
while still feeling fun and cool. I don't know. This is really well done. Stroker Ace. There's Bert, Bert and Lonnie, man. Um, Feature length audio commentary by Nathaniel Thompson. Gator McCluskey presents the Burt Reynolds story. Stroker Ace. Hollywood couples. Burt Reynolds and Lonnie Anderson featurette. They got the trailer and the NASCAR uh, movie trailer reel. A NASCAR movie trailer reel. A trailer reel of movies about NASCAR. Um, this is directed by Hal Needham, by the way, who um, was in Cannonball Run. Also, Hal, hold on. Let me. Oh, both of the Cannonball Runs and Smokey and the Bandit, too. Hal Needham, National Treasure. Oh, there's a really great documentary about Hal Needham on the Smokey and the Bandit. Universal Blu-ray in the United States, the 4K drops it. But on the Blu-ray, it was even a Walmart exclusive. For, I, I had to buy it at Walmart um, when it came out for the Hal Needham documentary. It came on CMT, Country Music Television. But it's a great documentary about Hal Needham. So let's see what's... Um, we go and last but certainly not least we have the man who loved women um that seems like an apt role for burt reynolds so uh feature length audio commentary by adrian martin hollywood remembers burt reynolds blake edward hey there's no gator mccluskey on this one blake edwards trailer reel because it's um uh directed by blake edwards written screenplay co-written by blake edwards and directed by blake edwards theatrical trailer and here is inside i mean beautifully done but guys we're not done well we're not done because we still got to talk about this beautiful thing so this is how many pages is this is at least 30 their pages aren't numbered but i know the table of contents starts at 30 so 32 looks like um a fanzine about the life and times of burt reynolds written by john harrison look at this look at this uh, Bert's box office muscle here. Well, I, you know what? I don't know if they want me to go page by page or not. I want to, I want to do a lot of these pages because this needs to be seen. Double O Bert. Look at this one too. This, I saw this. I was like, what? <laughs> Man, Bert Reynolds is the best. The women who loved Bert. Um, Bert and Dom, the other odd couple. <laughs> uh, a death in Gila Bend, Bert's real life mystery. Maybe it's Gila Bend. Who was the real stroker ace? <laughs> Cut out mustache. This makes me so happy. This makes... Man, this was like custom made for me. Oh, man. Burt Reynolds Hot Wheels. It's the uh, the White Lightning Gator double feature. There. Those great movies. Navajo Joe. Which was Burt doing uh, Euro Westerns. And Play Burt. And then we end with some quotes. Some Burt Reynolds quotes. Just perfect. Just perfect. So I think that this is how is this not a candidate for release of the year if not a shoe in for the release of the year i don't know i mean there's still it's like a third of the year into what are we, a quarter into the year but i mean i really feel like there's so much uh quality here and it's just such a unique collectible and display item the it's, man box of burt here i'll give you this you can freeze frame that and read everything for yourself um I could not be happier with Box of Burt. <laughs> Guys, what do you think about it? Did you pick it up? If you didn't, you can head. I, I hope it's still available. It should be still available at uh, Umbrella Umbrella Shop. I'll link to it in the description. But remember, Serial 15 saves you 15%. Please subscribe to this channel so you never miss an exciting episode, episode like this. Uh, we talk about a lot of things that are off the beaten path. This is not your channel for mainstream you want to hear about Lord of the Rings movies or like Harry Potter movies, uh-uh. We're going to talk about Burt Reynolds and deep cuts and the glorious hits of, uh, you know, the cinematic past. And I know you're there for it. I know you're there for it. Let's talk about Burt Reynolds, guys. The best. All right, take care. Till next time, I will catch you later.